This is Minsk, the capital city of Belarus. The country has held four rounds of peace talks between Russia and Ukraine. We arrived in the city yesterday and have been talking to the locals and have realized that economic sanctions have a huge impact on the local people's lives. Many have lost their jobs. But now one of the biggest challenges is that the local currency is depreciating. At the start of March, one US dollar was around three Belarusian rubles. So now let's go into one of the banks to see if the currency, the local currency, is depreciating more. Passport is there? Yes, yes, there is a passport. Yes, there is a bank with a red card. Yes, I understand, I understand. We need to go to the bank first and then we go to, the, uh, to do our SIM cards. As the economic sanctions kicked in about a week ago here in Belarus. So we're going into the bank. So the exchange rate now is 3.82 mm -hmm. and that is 1,300 US dollars. That will be 4,966. Now we need to go to buy SIM cards. I don't know how long it would take us. Uh, one month, uh, this price, uh, 15? 15. 15 yes. rubles. Mm -hmm. Yes, large rubles. Okay. Uh, uh, unlimited internet. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And uh, 400. Uh, uh, for the call, da. that is a minute of a few CDs. MasterCard and Visa do not work in Belarus now because of the economic sanctions. So it is uh, 35 for two same cards, but I have 50 here, but there is no change. So I need like exactly 30 rubles here. That is interesting. Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. I've exchanged some money and bought these same cards, and now let me bring you to one of the local supermarkets to find out if the food price is here on the table. Because of the economic sanctions and the food prices here in Minsk, at least, are rising a little bit, but not too much. Uh, so we see that the local currency is depreciating and the food prices are going up. But what the locals are worried about is the sanctions may last for quite a while. <laughs> 